Welcome to the video. I know everybody noticed how UFC outrated boxing last night. Um, what I have to say about that is you have to have better undercards and you have to have stack undercards. You know, one thing for sure. I mean, you see it with Eddie Hearns at times where and the European fighters have these stack undercards, which is good. You know what I mean? that That's great. You want to see that. If you're going to have a fight like this or any of these fights, you have to have stacked undercards. You have to have good undercards, you know, and and not just one, and not just two. Like you, it has to be, you know what I mean, a couple. And this fight right here between Danny and Polly, I don't want people to blame them for the ratings. They both had a lot on the line, a lot of stuff on the line. You know, Polly had his, you know, his name, and Danny Garcia was coming up in weight. So they both had something to fight for. So neither guy was going to back down, really. They were going to try to use their best of their ability to win however way they could. You know, so I don't want them to be judged for that. However, um, it could have been a better fight. You know, Polly could have fought somebody else. Danny could have fought somebody else. You know, they both could have fought on the same night and fought different opponents on that night. Do you understand what I'm trying to say here? That would have been a better card. You understand what I mean? So, hopefully, hopefully, if people hear me, this is the mistakes that they're making in boxing. You know, Dana White is not just a regular guy. He's a smart guy. You know, his 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 cards are just amazing. There's no way, like, it, it, it was, it's so hard to get off the UFC and go to the boxing any night. It's just hard because every fight is like, wow, 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 wow. You know what I mean? It's not like the way boxing is. And I believe that the cards could be better. And if you can't make them better, add more people to them that could put up fights. You know what I mean? You, you, you can make it. <laughs> I mean, there's so many different titles out there and different uh, champions and different uh, branches or uh, divisions and stuff like European di division, British champions, and the international champions, Latino champions, Crayola champions. Like, there's so many different little title belts that you guys can display see the ufc has a high pack action right and on top of that you know you do see ko's like we didn't see a real ko and danny garcia paul malanagi fight however we did see ko's throughout the night of course but we did see a magnificent 34 second ko in the ronda rousey Brett first uh, her name's supposed to be better but beth carrera right um that was magnificent. That was superb. And even though we all know Danny Garcia can bring it, we were expected for him to knock Paul Mon. Well, I predicted for him to knock Paul Monaghi's head off his shoulders by the fourth round, and it didn't happen. I understand they both had a lot to prove, but it should have happened. That would have made it a more exciting night. Um. Last but not least, what I gotta say this, I. I I seen a gentleman's video, uh, a sportsman, and he, you go check him out. Go check out his YouTube, uh, seven eight seven sports. Go check out his YouTube, and he was saying something how the um, UFC is killing boxing, and the reason why so is this is why I have to say this, is due to the fact that the people in the boxing community don't share each other's videos. That's why. The people, in the UFC community share each other's videos, so it's trending. So everybody knows what's going on. Everybody wants each other to know what's going on. No one's selfish with the trend or with the views. They want each other to know. Each they want everyone to know their opinion, and they want to hear everybody's opinion or who they think is going to win or lose. And with that type of community, that's the reason why it is so successful. In the boxing community, they don't share videos too much because they just want one opinion. They don't want you to be biased. They don't want you to like a fighter. If they don't like the fighter, they don't want you, the world, to know that you like that fighter or you want to talk good about that fighter or anything like that. And that's kind of wrong in the boxing community. And I also feel like, you know, in the boxing community, the guys who have the boxing YouTubes are more like, you know, they don't want you to get the views or care about your YouTube or care about your opinion. Your opinion doesn't matter. It's that's the best fighter. Or that's the fight that they want. And that's no, that's wrong. And with UFC, they want to hear your opinion. They want to know who do you think is going to win, what do you think is going to happen, who do you believe in, 
Why do you believe in them? What do you think they're going to do? You understand what I'm saying? Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you understand me, leave a comment.